Be prepared to journey into a world of millipedes as big as cars and insects that are going to haunt your nightmares. These are the craziest prehistoric bugs that ever existed. The Age of Insects Back in the day, giant insects ruled the land and the sky. Really large bugs started to thrive 359 million years ago. They only started to go extinct 60 million years later. That block of time is known as the Carboniferous Period. It was when flying insects grew to the size of eagles and millipedes grew to be as big as cars. But why? There have always been big bugs. And there are still gigantic spiders around today that are the size of a dinner plate living deep in the Amazon jungle. But the Carboniferous was truly a time of giant bugs, and it was all because of the hot and humid climate. At the beginning of the Carboniferous, most of the planet was covered in swampy rainforests. It was extremely humid and extremely hot. Dinosaurs hadn't evolved yet, and scientists don't think that there were any mammals. The planet was covered in creepy crawlies, and they had very little in the way of competition. Free to roam peacefully, bugs began evolving into a variety of exciting species. At the same time, plant life was evolving. Most of the landscape would have been covered in forests, populated by massive trees and humongous ferns. There also would have been a lot of moss. It was a boggy environment where bugs thrived without limits. You can think of the Carboniferous as a bug's paradise. There was one main ingredient that helped bugs grow to biblical sizes more than anything else. There was a lot of oxygen in the atmosphere. So, many trees and plants existed and they produced huge levels of oxygen. Today, the total percentage of oxygen in our atmosphere is about 21%. But during the Carboniferous, oxygen accounted for approximately 35% of the total atmosphere. The boost in oxygen enabled insects to grow far bigger than they can today. As a side note, this was also why marine creatures grew to be so big back then. Oxygen is why there were water scorpions as big as Tom Cruise. The oxygen in the atmosphere dissolved, creating higher levels of oxygen in the water, and this helped marine creatures increase their stature as well. And now for number eight. But first, I want to give a big shout out to William House and Lamar Glenn. Thanks so much for watching and supporting Origins Explain. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the family. The Walmart Bug An extremely rare insect from the Jurassic era has been found in a seriously unexpected place. On the side of a Walmart in Fayetteville, Arkansas, scientists found a gigantic bug that predates the dinosaurs. It's a discovery that shocked the scientific community. It happened, as you can likely guess, on a shopping trip. Michael Skvarla went to pick up some household goods at his local Walmart when he noticed something peculiar on the wall outside. Michael happens to be the director of Pennsylvania State University's Insect Identification Lab. So if anyone was going to be identifying a prehistoric bug, it was Michael. According to what Michael said, he was getting some milk in 2012 when he first saw the bug. He kept the insect with him, mounting it to his wall when he got home. But then he forgot about it for a decade. It was only recently that Michael went back to identify the strange bug. And it turned out to be a species called Polystocotes punctata, or the giant lacewing. Although it's still alive today, the family predates the dinosaurs. Michael initially thought it was just a boring dragonfly. But now, DNA tests have proved its roots go back to before the T-Rex. Nobody has found another example of the ancient bug in Arkansas since. Scientists think it's likely still alive, just hiding in an isolated corner somewhere. It really makes you wonder what other kinds of creepy insects are still out there that have eluded scientists. The Monstrous Millipede Giant ants are creepy because they come in large numbers. But what about a single giant insect that was the size of a car? I'm talking about a newly discovered millipede that may have been the largest invertebrate that ever lived. Would you rather be attacked by an army of bird-sized ants or a single millipede that's bigger than you? This would have been a real conundrum had you lived on the planet 326 million years ago when the monstrous millipede was alive. Scientists discovered the creature in 2018 on a trip to northeast England. Its fossil was found inside a cracked piece of sandstone rock. The rock fell from a cliff and crashed onto the beach. Inside the shattered stone were the fossilized imprints of a truly terrifying bug. 
Geologist Neil Davies from the University of Cambridge said it was a fluke discovery. Fluke or not, though, it's truly bizarre. The millipede was roughly nine feet long and thrived at a time when England was closer to the equator. It was part of a genus called Arthropleura. The fossil is rare for a whole host of reasons. Yes, it's from an enormous bug that weighed up to 100 pounds, but the fossil is also rare because very few of them have ever been discovered. When prehistoric millipedes died, their bodies usually disarticulated and rotted to the point where nothing was left. This is a very rare case in which the creature's carapace was well-preserved. However, there are still some missing features. Scientists have never found a fossilized head from one of these millipedes. They also don't know how many legs they had, but they think it was either 32 or 64. Another thing scientists don't know is why the giant millipedes went extinct. The best guess is that it happened with the emergence of reptiles. When hungry reptilians started crawling across the globe, the enormous bugs couldn't compete. To put it simply, the giant bugs were all eaten by even more giant lizards. The Mega Spider If you're an arachnophobe, this next prehistoric creature is going to have you shaking in your boots. In a remote region of Australia, scientists discovered what could be the most horrifying trapdoor spider ever. Australia is home to all the most frightening creatures. From the land to the sea, everything in Australia wants to kill you. It's been that way for millions of years. But there hasn't been much evidence found of the prehistoric insects and arachnids that once terrorized Australia. According to paleontologist Matthew McCurry from the University of New South Wales, only five spider fossils have ever been found in the country. And that includes the newly discovered fossil of a spider called Megamonodontium mccluskey. The trapdoor spider only measured 23 millimeters, or just under an inch. That still makes it the second biggest spider fossil found in Australia and about five times larger than its closest living relative. This mega spider thrived 11 million years ago. Its only relatives in modern times are deep in the wet jungles of Papua New Guinea and Singapore. Let's turn our attention for a second to the Goliath bird eater. It's the world's largest tarantula at roughly one foot in length. Yes, it's much bigger than the prehistoric arachnid, but the fact that the prehistoric spider was five times bigger than its current relatives really makes you think. It makes you think what the Goliath bird eater's relatives looked like millions of years ago. Since the Goliath bird eater is a foot in length, would that mean its ancestors were five foot long spiders? It's terrifying to think about. The Sea Bug Half a billion years ago, long before dinosaurs roamed the world, there was a scorpion that lived underwater and was roughly the size of Tom Cruise. That's a weird metric to use, but it's 100% true. These large marine predators could grow up to 5 feet 7 inches. They were underwater scorpions that had sharp claws and a spiky tail. Scientists think they may have been the most ferocious things in the prehistoric ocean at least before sharks evolved. If you had to guess where the giant sea scorpions lived, what would you say? Would it be somewhere in Asia or maybe South America? Well, how about Iowa? Geologists at the Iowa Geological Survey recently discovered fossils of these humongous water scorpions buried 60 feet beneath the upper Iowa River. Scientists at Yale University dammed the river temporarily so they could collect specimens. They found evidence of the bugs from approximately 460 million years ago. James Lansdell, the lead author of the study, said these watery scorpions were the first really big predators. If you'd been swimming in the ocean at the time these things were alive, you would have been taking a gamble with your life. Sharks might be scary, but there's something about floating bugs that really makes the skin crawl. To be honest, sharks aren't even that aggressive but the prehistoric scorpion definitely was. Scientists can tell just by its vicious claws and huge mouth it was a big, angry bug that actively hunted for prey. There were other, even bigger sea scorpions half a billion years ago, but for the most part, they were bottom feeders. They scrounged on the sea floor to pick up scraps from other creatures, but the ones that lived in Iowa were serious predators. The Big Ant in Wyoming, scientists discovered an impossibly big ant fossil. They think it was an ordinary ant, just like the army ants that ruin your picnic. Only this prehistoric ant was a giant, roughly the size of a hummingbird. 
Imagine ants as big as birds crawling across your picnic blanket and eating your lunch. It would be absolutely terrifying. The fossilized ant is from a species that was about two inches long. Scientists named it Titanomerma, which translates to Titan Ant. Bruce Archibald from Simon Fraser University was the one who reported the discovery. He called the specimen monstrously big, and for good reason. These days, ants don't grow much larger than a human thumbnail. But 56 million to 34 million years ago, ants were huge. Scientists don't even know how big they got at maximum. The discovered fossil could have been a tiny, insignificant ant from a much larger colony. If it was two inches, imagine how big the queen was. The queen could have been an ant the size of a large rat. There would have been millions, even billions of these things crawling around North America in the years after the dinosaurs went extinct. The Bug Slayer 237 million years ago, just after the Carboniferous period was over, the giant bugs were rapidly dying. Like I said earlier, there always have been and always will be big bugs. But most of the true giants were on their way out. And helping with the situation was an ancient relative of the dinosaurs known as the Tiny Bug Slayer. The Slayer of Bugs was only 4 inches tall. The creature's fossil was discovered in Madagascar in 1998. When it was first found, researchers didn't think much of it. Scientists have collected hundreds of fossils from Madagascar over the years. And the bigger the fossil, the more attention it typically gets. But now that researchers have gotten around to studying the tiny bug slayer, they're flabbergasted. Scientists suspect that this tiny creature could be a direct ancestor of some of the biggest animals of the dinosaur kingdom. It's called Congo Nafon Kelly, and it lived primarily on a diet of insects. The creature had small but deadly teeth. Scientists were able to inspect its little fangs and determined that it spent most of its life crunching hard-shelled insects. It was a bug killer, but also a predecessor of the dinosaurs. Christian Kammerer is the research curator at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. He said the bug slayer belonged to an early lineage of Ornithodira, a group of animals that also contains dinosaurs and modern birds. Before dinosaurs got big, they were no more than a few inches tall. The bug slayer is direct evidence that early dino ancestors grew by feasting on bugs. The Utah Insectoid Paleontologists in Utah discovered the remains of a giant bug from 151 million years ago. It was uncovered inside the same prehistoric deposit containing the fossils of beasts like Allosaurus and Stegosaurus. Only this is a small insect closely related to modern giant water bugs. Aside from scorpions, spiders, and things with too many legs, giant water bugs are some of the creepiest of all the crawlies out there. They're known as toe biters because they annoyingly bite swimmers on their toes. And while they're not deadly, giant water bugs can deliver an excruciatingly painful bite. And although they're only bugs, they've been seen feasting on fish, snakes, and amphibians. Water bugs don't mess around and neither did their prehistoric ancestors. At the Morrison Formation, where the prehistoric water bug was found, only one other insect has been discovered. It was an ancestor of a cricket that was unearthed in 2011. This is just an example of how tough it is to find ancient bug remains. There are likely millions of species that scientists don't even know about, and whose remains are long gone. This species in particular was a real creep. It was roughly the same size as the modern giant water bug and most likely delivered the same toe-curling bite. The Spiky-Headed Worm Scientists in Canada have discovered a creepy prehistoric worm with a spiky head. It was such a frightening creature that anything else swimming near it in the ancient seas would have steered in the other direction. The spiky-headed worm lived 500 million years ago, at around the same time as the Tom Cruise-sized scorpions. A joint team of researchers from the Royal Ontario Museum and Yale University were behind the discovery. About 50 specimens were unearthed in the Burgess Shale fossil beds. That's a very impressive number considering that most creepy ancient bugs are only known from a single specimen. But here, researchers dug up 50 of them. So the spiky-headed worms must have been all over the place. Each worm was only around an inch long. 
They were small, but so were a lot of the creatures living in the oceans half a billion years ago. The worm had around 50 spines on its head, and on either side of the worm's head were 25 spikes like fishing hooks. Then at the center of its head was a tiny hole that it used as a mouth. Scientists think it impaled its prey on the spikes, then gobbled them up. Thanks for watching. Would you rather live in a world dominated by giant carnivorous dinosaurs or gigantic bugs? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon. Bye!